Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our first Live Wellness uh, series. Today is Mindful Monday, and we are going to be talking about breathing techniques. So during this time, I know things can get really stressful, and one way to alleviate stress is to check in with your breathing. Breathing is really essential not just to give us life, but also it can be really important when it comes to emotional regulation and stress response. So we're going to talk a little bit about why breathing is um, helpful and some um, information behind that. Um, So the American Lung Association talks about how breathing is done through your diaphragm. So it's right here on your ribs. Um, And when you breathe in and out with your diaphragm, you're doing about 80% of the work through your diaphragm to fill up your lungs and to main uh, with a mixture of oxygen and other gases, um, which then uh, as you breathe out, the gases that we do not need, such as carbon dioxide, get breathed out. Um, So over time, Depending on how you are breathing, um, stale air can build up in our lungs um, and it can leave less room for the diaphragm to contract um, and bring in fresh oxygen. Um, So why that's a problem is because if your diaphragm is not working to full capacity, the body can start use other parts, um, other muscles um, to help with breathing. So such as your neck and chest, and that's not good overall um, if we are constantly um, not using our full diaphragm because that's what it's used for. Over time, if we're using those other muscles, um, this can translate into lower oxygen levels um, and less reserve for exercise and activity. So if we need to then call upon um, for more energy, we won't be able to because we have, you know, succumbed some of that. So we won't have as much um, energy and breathing levels to perform um, to our best physical um, uh, uh, status as we are. Um, But if you practice breathing techniques regularly, this can help rid the lungs of some of that stale air um, and it can increase our um, oxygen levels over time and it can help return your diaphragm to be able to breathe a little bit better. Um, So one way to be able to kind of demonstrate this is um, to help with clear thinking too. So when you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, which you may hear a lot when it comes to breathing techniques, the reason is um, is because one, your nose is closer to your brain than your mouth is. Um, so taking in those breaths through your nose can help um, one, have some clearer thinking. So when we are maybe a de- little bit deprived of our oxygen levels, we're not going to be able to breathe um, and think as clearly. So breathing you through and through your nose, and out through your mouth um, can allow more room for more oxygen and breathing out through our mouth can um, enlarge our lung capacity. So the more that we're breathing out through our mouth, um, it can make our lung capacity grow and to dispel more of the copper dioxide and other gases that we don't need. Um, So when we are emotionally distressed, our breathing is likely shallow, which can cause us to have um, slightly less of of that oxygen going to our brain, which can inhibit um, our high level cognitive thinking. So if you can ever recall a time where you've been stressed out, maybe emotionally charged, and maybe just your brain kind of went blank, um, it might be because you're not breathing as well. Um, Doing some breathing techniques then can kind of get us back center and can allow for some clear thinking to come through. So I'm going to go through a bunch of different types, um, about five different types of breathing techniques that you can start incorporating into your um, daily schedule and your daily life. Um, And that can be a way to help um, when you are having a stress response to be able to kind of breathe through that stress response. So the first one we're going to do is called pursed lip breathing. Um, It's very simple way to do it. So I'm going to kind of explain how you do it and then demonstrate for you and you can follow along with me as we are going through this. Um, So first off, relax your neck and shoulders. Um, During this time, if you want to find a comfortable place to sit or lay down, um, either can be achieved to help you do these breathing techniques um, and just make sure that you are trying to be as relaxed as possible during this time. Um, So keeping your mouth closed um, for pursed lip breathing, you're going to inhale slowly through your nose for two counts. So one, two, and then you're going to pucker or purse your lips out as if you're going to whistle. So kind of like this. And you're going to exhale slowly by blowing air through your pursed lips for a count of four. Um, And we're going to practice that together.
So really simple. Pure sleep breathing is really simple. Um, so the next one we're going to do is belly breathing. So you can lie on your back during this time, or you can um, stand and relax in your seat as you're going through this. Um, if you are going to lie down, keep your knees slightly bent and your head on a pillow. You're going to place one hand on your upper chest, so kind of like this, if you want to um, demonstrate like this. One hand on your upper chest, and then one hand below your rib cage, um, as you can see like this. Um, it's going to allow you to feel the movement of your diaphragm as you're breathing. Um, so you're going to slowly inhale through your nose, feeling your stomach pressing into your hand down here, and you're going to keep this hand as still as possible as you're breathing. Um, when you exhale, use that per pursed lips um, technique again, um, and you're going to tighten your stomach muscles, um, which will help keep your upper hand um, completely still. So we're going to demonstrate, we're going to do about three counts, so you can follow along with me. You can do again, um, breathing in through for two seconds and out for four. As you get more advanced, um, sometimes upping it up and doubling it, so four seconds in, eight seconds out, but we'll do whatever is comfortable for you. Um, the more you'll do this, the more you will um, notice that you're going to be a little bit more exhausted as you're trying to breathe like this um, because it's taking a little bit more energy. But the more that you are incorporating this and practicing this, the easier it's going to get. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Keep breathing and just keep being present. You'll begin to really feel the hand that's near your diaphragm by your stomach. You'll be feeling your hand moving up and down. And you can kind of see as I'm doing this. Good. So that was belly breathing. We're going to move on to another technique now. This one is called breathe focus. So again, you're going to sit or lie down in a comfortable place. Um, you're going to begin alternating between normal breathing and deep breathing. So it can be kind of the belly breathing, but um, whatever is comfortable for you, but making sure to extend the in um, and out breaths to match that. Um, you're going to then bring your awareness to your breaths without trying to change how you're breathing. So this will kind of be sequential over time as you're practicing this. Um, you're going to then focus on the differences between your normal breathing and your deep breathing. So just maybe how much time there is or what it feels like. And you can even start to notice how your abdomen expands with the deep inhalations and how shallow breathing feels compared to deep breathing. So I would encourage you to kind of keep your hands, um, one on your abdomen and one on your chest as you're doing this. Um, and each time I want you to exhale fully once you're doing the deep breathing because then you're really going to feel the difference as you're going through it. Um, so practicing the deep breathing for a few minutes after that, one hand on your belly button, keeping your belly relaxed and then noticing how it moves as you're going um, in and out. After you feel in control and relaxed with breathing, um, so I've done this a couple of times, the breathe focus part of this is to begin having a word paired with the inhale and the exhale, so the in-breath and the out-breath. So for example, it could be like inhale calm, exhale doubt, or maybe inhale the present, exhale the past. It can even be a longer word um, or phrase like I'm inhaling the present right now. I am exhaling what I do not want to think about. Um, so whatever makes sense to you, you can kind of, you know, feel free to um, change that up a little bit and try that out. But then you'll be focusing on, then you'll be focusing on the words um, as you're practicing that breathing. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that now. And I'm going to say the words out loud so you can kind of hear how it goes for me um, as we're going through it. So we're just going to sit and breathe. I'm going to remember my breathing normally, and then I'm going to do some deep breathing, and then I'm going to go back and just kind of notice as I'm breathing what that feels like to have the differences between normal breathing and deep breathing. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to begin doing the breathe focus, um, so feeling the um, word coming in and then coming out, okay?
And if it's helpful for you to close your eyes at this time, if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can always um, focus somewhere on the floor or a spot on the wall, whatever it's got, and just concentrate on that spot, and that can kind of help you um, stay in the moment too. Breathing in calm. Breathing out doubt. Breathing in calm. Breathing out doubt. Inhale the future. Exhale the past. Inhale the future, exhale the past. So very simple again to doing the breathe focus. Another one I'm going to talk about is 478. Um, this type of breathing technique has a very um, calming effect and it um, can really target the physiological system. Um, so what you're doing is breathing in through your nose for four seconds, holding the breath for seven seconds and exhaling for eight seconds. Um, this might be difficult at first to do, um, but over time it will get easier, but it has a really calming effect on the body um, because you are doing uh, a form of pace breathing in this moment. So again, breathing in through your nose for four seconds, holding the breath for seven, and then exhaling for eight. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now. Again, you get comfortable in your seat um, as you're going. Um, and you can just follow along with me. So breathing in for four, holding for seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and breathing out for eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, breathe in, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more time and breathing in, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, breathing out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job. Um, the last one we're gonna demonstrate is counting the breath. So this is again a good one to be able to engage not only your breath but also um, the mind as well. Um, it helps people to be able to focus on the breath. Um, it gives them kind of a um, spherical way to be able to go through the breathing exercises. So to begin, all you're doing is counting the breath. So as you go inhale, you count one to yourself. And the next time you exhale, you count two. So up to five. So in, out, and that's one. So inhale again. And exhale, that's two. And you go all the way up to five and then you start over again. Um, you can do as many cycles as you want. I would say between three and five if you're gonna do kind of a short in the moment. Um, but it's gonna be a good way to go through different types of breathing techniques is then to start counting the breaths. But you always count the exhale. So a full breathing cycle um, is in and out and that's one. And then in and out again, that's two. In and out, that's three. In and out, that's four. In and out, that's five. And then you start over again. Okay, so we're going to practice that again. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, focus on a spot this time just to demonstrate how that would look um, instead of closing my eyes. So breathing in and breathing out. One.
to five and that's counting the breath so again just a quick recap all of the techniques that we've done today um, we did counting the breath so going and counting um, each cycle of the breath four seven eight um, it's a pace breathing technique um, breath focus um, that is pairing not only um, the breathing um, and normal versus deep breathing but pairing a word with it as well and then we also did belly breathing, um, so it's placing a hand on your diaphragm and also on your chest and just feeling the differences between how your hands are moving. And then pursed lip breathing, um, which is kind of a technique we incorporated through a lot of this of just relaxing and um, inhaling through the nose and um, exhaling through the mouth. Um, one way to do um, belly breathing too is to get a, a, a breath focus to get some deep breaths in is to open your mouth a little bit more as you're breathing. So instead of doing the pursed lips is making like an O with your mouth. Um, it's a little bit easier to then exhale a little bit more, um, but the pursed lip breathing um, can be a little more precise too. Um, so I hope this helps and begin using this technique as you are um, before you go to bed or when you start your day um, just to be able to do a little bit of grounding and mindfulness. Um, breathing can be a great way to kind of refocus before your next task, um, before you prepare for stress. Um, doing these breathing techniques can be really helpful. Um, we'll see you again on Wednesday for our next Live Wellness um, resource. Um, workshop and continue to follow us on social media. Check out our website for other um, techniques to use in the meantime, and we will see you then. Be well. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.